So Matt, thanks very much uh, for giving us this opportunity to talk with you. Uh, so maybe you can tell us a little about uh, your background and why you're running for a Washington State Representative. Sure, it's great to be here, Jim, and thanks for having me. Um, my name is Matt Krug. I'm running for Washington State Representative. And in my day job, I fight to protect water quality, just to make sure that all the waterways of the U.S., or of our local waterways, are fishable, swimmable, and drinkable. And I got into this line of work uh, essentially because I'm a younger brother. And uh, any other younger siblings out there will know that you can smell injustice from a mile away. It's, it's an amazing thing to, to be a younger sibling. And uh, trying to defend these rights for clean water in particular led me into trying to oppose a coal terminal, which to me uh, is a grave injustice that's being perpetrated on our community. So as I've been in this you know, frame of mind trying to make sure that I can actually defend my community, I've realized that there's so many other things out there that I care deeply about. Among them, making sure that we fund education so that every kid has a chance at a really great public school education. Making sure that we protect health care so that women in particular have access to all the health care they need, reproduct reproductive or otherwise. And also make sure that we protect jobs because without jobs we really can't pay for any of the rest of the stuff that makes quality of life meaningful. So. You know, one, one thing led to another, and uh, just being in the basic mind frame of trying to make sure that we protect our quality of life has led me wanting to go to Olympia as an elected representative and try to make a difference. And as far as the coal terminal, you uh, commented earlier that uh, you're opposed to that. Uh, can you tell us a little more about what your position is? Sure, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely opposed to the coal terminal, and there are hundreds of reasons and, and people who have had to listen to me before know I can talk for hours about why we should oppose the coal terminal. But at its root, it's just not fair what's happening here. We have tons of money and giant corporations from outside this area coming in and telling us at a time that people are playing by the rules, they're doing their work, they're doing their jobs, and they're still getting kicked out of their homes and telling us that this is our only answer, that we'd get these jobs or we get nothing. And it's not true. Right now, we actually have jobs that depend on the ecological health of Cherry Point. We have crab fishery, we have a herring fishery, we have salmon, we have tourism jobs, we have healthy forests that provide, we have incredible farms, and every one of those things is threatened by this coal terminal. So as far as jobs go, uh, SSA Marine, the uh, proposed um, builder of the Gateway Pacific terminal there, says that they're going to bring tons of jobs. How would you counter that? Well, there are two, two ways to counter that. One is to say they're exaggerating or uh, telling non-truths, if you will. Uh, the number of jobs that they're talking about is uh, it's silly. It's, it's far more than they would actually be able to employ in a highly mechanized coal export facility. They have the lowest job density of any of the, co of, and any of the different types of export facilities out there, much less what else we could do with that industrial land if we actually wanted to create jobs. They're not doing it for jobs, they're doing it for money. The second thing they don't tell you is all the direct impacts they're going to have on jobs for the 1,100 miles of the rail route. We had a local study that came from a group called Community Wise that looked only at impacts in Bellingham. That's it. And it looked only at growth impacts in Bellingham. And it came to the conclusion that over 10 years, it was very, very likely that there would be a net job loss in Bellingham. That didn't even begin. It didn't look at the fisheries jobs that I mentioned. It didn't look at the job impacts in small communities. It didn't look at the unfair impacts on those communities that don't have the ability to build overpasses or underpasses to make sure that they have grade separations that mean that people aren't getting stopped, ambulances aren't getting stopped. There's just no money for that for those folks. All of this is one scheme to take Cod River Basin coal, which is American public coal, ship it overseas for maximum profit at our expense.